Hello, hello guys. Good afternoon. And uh, here we are for another day ng uh, China Division 1. I was expecting na Southeast Asia ngayon, pero dalawang sunod pala yung uh, China Div 1. Sunday and, uh, Saturday and Sunday. So, medyo na late tayo. Kasi yun, expect ko 1pm pa yung start ng series natin. Pero yun nga, hindi pala Southeast Asia. China pala ulit. So, game number 2 na tayo mga boss. Game number 1 was Extreme Gaming. Yung nanalo. Team Bright, they have this anti-mage pick. How good is the anti-mage for this game? Up against Storm and Scarlet Mage, pretty decent naman siya. But we are dealing with Sven, Doom. So kung mahuli siya dito, then that's gonna be a big problem for the anti-mage. What? Weaver? Ato, Weaver support? Okay, let's go. Prepare for battle. Tapamadali tuloy ako kumain. Thirty seconds to battle. So, uh, mic, mic issue. Kahon tayo ng post mo na dito. Well, uh, okay. Back to the game. Tinder Brew, sa may bot lane, plus the Kuchi. Unfortunately, dito naman si DY, so hindi magpaproc yung uh, Ignite ng Cinder Brew Irving. Well, on the other hand, andan yung, yung uh, concussive shot for the slows.
Stormhammer over to Irving goes. Well, should be fine. Wala pa naman silang enough damage dito to actually deal with this Sven. Dine will be the first blood. JT secures the kill. Dyer should look to their top tower. That should help. Kaka will be the casualty right here for the top lane action. Denied. Weird ng bottom lane in Scoochie. I've seen their boot as Scoochie. Well, until naman nagkaka levels dito yung Weaver, so until din na rin siyang uh, nagiging okay in terms of damage. Up against Carrot Mage, decent naman si Weaver. Imitator. Gonna try and go over to DY. What? What should my vision do? Actually use for the Phoenix for Phoenix. So uh they have the catapult fortification use. Possible pa makuwa to well feed bolt para kay Kaka is available to drag out the wave. Uh, medyo malabo naman ata para sa side ng uh, team Bright. Frost shield will be there. Is it gonna be enough? They have the tower to help out. Phoenix Dito will be brought down. Now Sakuchi in. Over to Kaka. Actually, hindi siya makakaabot for the final right click. Kaka do survives. Two heroes dead for the side of Team Bright for the middle lane. Hindi ko ma-watch ka kagabi boss eh Yung game number 3 Hindi ko lang kung bakit
Tsukuchi in over to Imitator Going for JT, JT dito Well, wala naman siya na ganong mana Visibility. <laughs> well, this I mean, this is a dead prophet. Atasa do bring three heroes for the side of extreme. Easy kill for extreme gaming. So sitting on top network will be Doom to be followed by Paparazzi. Hindi naman masyadong nagkakalayo sila dito. Pero yung Rubik, medyo maganda yung start para kay Kaka. 2K network agad for the Rubik in a 9 minute game. Bottom lane, Cinder Brew over to uh, from Irving. The Silence Mystic Flare available for the Scattered Mages level 6. Now Storm zips in forward, gonna ping down the Brew Master instantly. Kaka with a stolen swarm, trying to get the next target. Pero dinaman to mama over to uh, Undyne, but they've lost two immediately for the side of Team Bright. And that's Brewmaster. In yung timing niya, Primal Split was available that time. But he got silenced, he got bursted down, and that's huge for the side of Extreme Gaming. Seven one yung score. It's not mo is yung game number two. Pero kung uh, sa series is not mo one zero tayo in favor of extreme gaming. Illusion. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Team Bright. And Extreme Gaming, yung magkalaban ngayon. Is now there is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. Well, there goes the storm. Do manage to bring down Lich. Sa may middle lane. There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. Dyer's middle tower is no more. Dyer's middle tower Stacks is available no more. Stacks available naman uh, para kay Ghost. Yeah, early deep attack. ward para kay Kaka. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Twins Gate, Extreme, are they ready to take this fight on top lane? That Prophet is here, Blue Master, same goes, and it's gonna be JT. Primus with you is immediately for the Irving. Now JT, is he tanky enough to actually survive from this? Maybe not. Okay, wala din naman tumulong. Over to Irving, and as for the Sven, Ancient Stacks pa rin naman yung kanyang... Uh, Kinukuha dito, God Strength. Yeah, will be used. Shut up. I want talaga big line network ni Ghost.
Here I am. Tier 1 top tower will be secured by Extreme finally. And Storm Witchblade on its way na. For the anti mage, well, at least, diba? Di naman siya yung ganun nagi slow down for the Battle of Fury. One main reason kung bakit wala pa siyang Battle of Fury and a turn 3 minute mark is nag ring of health siya. So, ito na naman siya para naging problem natin ngayon for heroes na nagba Battle of Fury before. Pwede ka mag ring of health for the regeneration. Right now, Ang ah, mahal eh, nung component eh, nagbago na hindi ng Ring of Health tsaka Perseverance eh. Yung uh, Cornucopia na eh, which is 1.2k gold. Though okay pa rin naman mag Ring of Health for the Anti-Mage, dahil uh, mag Abyssal Blade ka pa rin naman later on. Though yun nga, hindi mo mararush yung Battle Fury. Sven continues the outforming the heroes of Team Bright. Dyer's bottom tower is under Diretso pa rin naman siya pagkukuha ng mga neutrals dito. Scan, eager to know Dyer's whereabouts. Yeah, even Wisdom Rune will be taken by Ghost. And for the Doom itself, he's going for Octarine Core. Yan, after ng kanyang pipe. 8k advantage nga pala para sa side ng Extreme Gaming. And uh, for the Storm Spirit, going for Linked Spear para sa kanyang next item choice. Bottom lane might be the main objective right now for Team Bright. So, wala naman tower dito. Not sure kung binabait out lang nila. I think binabait out lang nila yung anti-mage. I mean, five heroes are here. Sa ganitong situation, nalulugi yung team right. Dahil, uh, ang dahil nilang sinasayang na oras. Nag-stick as sila as five. And wala namang ginagawa dito yung extreme. Except for farming on their own jungle and lanes. So, more resources yung nakukuha dito ng extreme gaming. And uh, we'll be on top lane. Oh, zipped in. They have detection. Mystic Flare, the burst is gonna be plenty enough here. Being gonna pop the Primal Split. Well, Chain Frost bouncing in. Paparazzi zips in forward, but here comes Phoenix joining the fight with a quick silence over the Paparazzi. Paparazzi is gonna be in trouble. Sven just trying to slice this uh, Brulings. They have lost the storm. Finally, a good kill secured for us uh, for the side of Team Bright. They'll try and go back in with the Frost Shield. The damage is too much coming out from Ghost. It's not enough to keep him alive. They even have the Vessel from Kaka. And there goes Weaver over to DY. DY will be taken out. There is little hope for Radiance Middle Tower. <laughs> so anti mage battle fury available going for manta style for his next item choice yeah for the thorn spirit is going for lincoln spear for the next item Storm zips in, catches the death prophet with a mystic flare and spirit vessel. 
Level 3 Frost Shield still not gonna be enough. So, man, tas ng burst na meron dito yung uh, extreme. Yeah, there goes Roshan. Ages to be secured by Extreme Gaming. Fortification will be used. Anti Mage still not yet ready to join the steam fights. And as for Kaka, stolen to Gucci para sa Rubik. Yeah, wala pa time blink daggers is spent. But now BGB is available. And you will be looking to uh, get this tier 2 top power. Wala na magagawa dito yung Team Bright yeah, objective. Mahuhuwa naman dito ng Extreme Gaming. Now, Extreme Gaming, speaking of, they will smoke up. We're going for their next target. 20 minute mark. Tormentor available. Pero ba tayo magandang uh, humuwa ng Tormentor dito for the support heroes? I think for the Weaver. Ay, for the Rubik. Yan, Sheng, okay. Then sa kabilang side naman. Maybe for Lich. Storm zips in. And uh, we'll be going towards Lich. Better shell Frost Shield. Not gonna be that easy to bring him down, but he have Lift coming in from Kaka, and the Spirit Vessel will be there. One more right click. Gonna mohon papa tayo nang Spirit Vessel. Paparazzi almost out of mana after the team fight. But objective must be secure naman dito ni goes afterwards, and Blink Dagger on its way para spend. Now, Ghost will be looking to deal more damage onto the third tower for the mid lane. Fortification comes in. Now, for Extreme Gaming, disengage lang muna. Anti Mage, malapit at para sa kanyang Mata style. Pero hindi pa rin naman siya ganun ka free. As an Anti Mage sa game na to. Dahil pede pede pa rin siya mahuli ng ating uh, Sven, Storm Hammer. Yan, grabe yung damage pa ni Sven dito. For Anti Mage, wala pa naman siya ganun armor. And di pa na nga nung kataasan yung kanyang buhay. 1.1k HP. Sasaglit din ka ng spin sa ganitong uh, HP pool mo. Ang yaman ng spin. So he needs more stats. I don't know kung ano yung magiging next item dito ng ating anti mage after getting this mana style. Is it going for Basher? For the extra health given? Pwede sa taas naman yung armor niya kahit pa paano. Okay, yeah, there goes Tormentor. Yep, kay Kaka nga napunta. Yung ating shard upgrade. Mas mayaman na si Kaka dito compared to the Brewmaster. Shout out ka pala kay DJ Carlos. Rasi Adela. Yeah. Shout out to your boss and welcome to our stream. Tama chill casting lang muna ulit tayo dito for the uh, Division 1 ng China Legion. And as for Imitator. Yeah, hindi naman siya papalo sa creeps. Or else, siya yung mabibigyan dyan. Okay. 
And smoke play for the side of Extreme Gaming. Blink Dagger available na rin para sa Doom. I feel it was the first stone paint Doom, eh, no? Solid. Farm na farm dito yung Doom. Detection use. Wala nga lang aabutan para kay Kaka. And uh, over to Sven. Continuous pa naman sa dito sa pagkukuha ng objective. That's the final outer tower remaining for the side of Team Bright. Ito na naman tayo. I mean, et, ganito yung nangyari from first series yesterday hanggang third series. Now, whenever nagiging one-sided yung game, sobrang passive na na nangyayari. Umaabot pa ng 40 minutes, na sobrang one-sided yung game, tas wala lang nangyayari. Ang map? Ano ba? Meron ba ako tearing? Alam ko lang naman ako tearing. Default lang ata ito yung sa akin. Ganoon ito na yung map ngayon sa Dota. So, uh, it's gonna be Kaka with a stolen blink will manage to escape from the anti mage. Now, JD is here. Maybe some purge the skill. Maybe for the frost shield. Yeah, I think that's it. Pang remove lang ng frost shield ng leech. Now, a smoke play for the side of extreme gaming. Actually, will Weaver will be spotted here. And detection, silence, that's it. <laughs> Weaver dead as quickly as that. Cinema silence. Touché. Like ancient seal, Basha. Oh god. Oh god, the AM. Well, pops the Manta style. A bit too late for JT to drop his ultimate. So that was God's Rank use for this Ven. Yeah, for Extreme Gaming, they managed to buy more time since uh, antayin pa ulit ng Extreme Gaming dito yung kanyang uh, God Strength. Yeah, I think Silence ni Skyrat yun. Hindi ko lang napansin kung, uma, kung yung effects ng Silence ni Skyrat. Ano ko? So usually parang may puti sa ilalim yun. Hindi <laughs> ko lang napansin. Kaya kala ko, uh, ibang silence yung ginamit. Kala ko may mind break. <laughs> anyway, uh, Kaka dito will be placing the Observer Ward. Now over to the Death Prophet. Doom comes in. Storm sits in forward trying to bring down this pesky Death Prophet. The Frostal was used over to the tower itself. And that prophet will be denied by the imitator. So uh, this will have one gold. And the mage blinks in. Are you sure about this? So the control will be given. And the mage dead. He's out for 60 seconds. A buyback for the dead prophet trying to hold this push coming in for the side of extreme gaming. Without the anti mage, let's see. Kung kakaya ng bato ng uh, team bright, wala rin sila ang atang. Uh, yeah, wala silang ultimate ng Brewmaster. That's one of their problems right now as well. And now it's gonna be Weaver. They have the four step Frost Shield just keeping Weaver alive. Imitator down to half HP. God's Ring available to let para kay Ghost. Gonna throw the Swarm. Only to the Storm Spirit. And now Fortification available to let para sa side ng Team Bright. And now as for the Sven, he's getting hard. Rain Tracks. Will be secured. Goes for the melee axe. Cinder Brew. Here they go. Anti mage still out for 20. Yeah, mo hindi naman pipirit ng extreme gaming. 
ganun ko sila kadisip, kadisipin maglaro. Kaya tumatagal lalo yung game. Kahit sobrang one-sided na yung nangyayari. Stupendous! Damage, pop the Manta style storm will be looking to chase him, but there won't be any follow up for Paparazzi. Paparazzi needs to be careful. Doom blinks in forward over to Irving, drops the Doom onto the Blue Master. Frost Shield will be there, just trying to sustain him. Storm zips in, Storm Hammer on the two, coming up with the spread with the God Strength. The right kick is too much, Mana Void available for the uh, Anti Mage, but it's not gonna be enough. Paparazzi. Secures the kill. Three heroes dead for the side of Team Bright. Make it four. Potentially, Phoenix has been caught, and that's it. Jinji has been called. Game is over. 29 minutes. 2 0 for the first series. Not in mga boss. And that was a quick game. Dina pinat lagal ng Xtreme Gaming dito. Well, draft wise, I think Xtreme has the advantage. Uh, siguro kung sobrang yaman ng anti-mage, might be a different story. Pero ang sobrang yaman is yung tatlong core ng extreme gaming. Parang wala naman masyadong uh, nag-workout for Team Bright. One of the biggest factor is yung mga key ultimate ng Team Bright, such as EXO and Primal Split, na pwede sanang maging way nila for the early to mid-game stage. Hindi naman nila na execute properly. Actually, wala nga tayo nakita magandang EXO or Primal Split para sa ating Brewmaster. So, sobrang hirap nun. Nakipag farman lang sila up against Storm, Doom, and Sven. And their hero is just that Prophet, Brewmaster. Hindi naman ganun kablis mag-farm ng two heroes ito. For the anti-mage, pag battlefield available na, din makakasabi naman na siya. But it was too late. XM Gaming securing the series 2-2-0 up against Team Bright. Well, magbabalik pa naman tayo for the next series. That will be 3pm. So, be right back guys. Thanks so much for watching.